hey my loves and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another my weight loss journey video guys if this is your first time here welcome my love please stick around don't be a stranger and do consider subscribing if this is not your first time here you already know the drill you better be subscribed honey so guys I know I haven't posted a video in a little while I actually had surgery guys so I was unable to work out for a little while but today it is Wednesday November 4th and I am out here and at it my goal is to walk 10 miles today I was able to walk a few miles after I had surgery but I can tell that I pushed myself too much because I was still swollen and I was still sore I'm not a hundred percent today but I'm 99.99999% so I'm gonna push these 10 miles my loves um, I'm gonna walk some I'm gonna jog some and I'm gonna run some so let me stop all the chit chatting and I'm gonna get into this workout I think when I get home I'm gonna do a quick little five maybe ten minute workout in my backyard and I'm gonna let you guys see that as well okay babes let's get into it I'm done with my walk I'm actually back at home you can tell I'm in my backyard and after I work out um, I usually come in my backyard or I go in the house but most of the time is in my backyard I only go in the house when the weather is bad and I do a quick little five to ten minute cool down workout um, today I'm going to modify that a whole lot because I had surgery and I don't want to do anything that's going to set me back from my surgery because I worked my ass off losing all this damn weight to qualify for my surgery so I'm not going to do anything that's going to hurt me because um, it took a lot of begging and pleading for my doctor to clear me to start back working out again so i'm only going to do maybe two exercises and i'm gonna probably just do like two or three reps of each um maybe two to three exercises but i'm not going to do my entire routine because that would um be too much on my body and i'm not going to go backwards i'm going to go forwards even though i haven't been able to exercise guys because of how i've trained my body since i've started this in july um you know even talking to my doctor and going to my follow-ups for my surgery you know my body is still in what my doctor called weight i mean um fat burning mode or whatever she called it. i think that's what she said because even with not working out um, since my surgery, I'm still averaging, I'm still losing like a pound a day. If when I get on the scale and I get on the scale each night or the next morning, my weight is still dropping. I'm still losing like a pound a day without working out. Um, 
so I think that's damn good um, my body has like I said I've trained my body to do what it needs to do if you guys want me to do a video and just talk strictly about um, some things that I've done since my last video and how my body is reacting and just just an update and you know what I need to do an update video anyway so my next video probably will be an update video because it's November 4th and um, my last update video I think I did it maybe three weeks almost a month ago so I do update video but let me sit my camera down and I'll show you guys a few things let me get my camera side down and not let it fall because if my camera falls I'm gonna have a fit in these streets baby let me see because this is so I need to be turning my camera off doing this stuff but y'all know I ain't got time to be doing no damn editing we don't, we don't do that we don't do that I'll let you guys see what the hell I'm doing it is what it is yeah let me fix this because I don't want this leg to pop off I got this tripod that I barely even use and that's why because it don't always do what it's supposed to do and it makes me mad let me see let me go back here and see if y'all can see me then I can tell you guys a few things so hopefully the light is good so when I work out guys I always have to pull my pants up because let me tell you I'm not buying no clothes until next year 2021 because there's still some weight that I that I'm going to lose these pants are a size 14 I always pull them up I actually can wear a size 12 I haven't had a size 12 on since my surgery what I did I'm lying I had on some stretch pants that was a size 12 um oh it looks dark are you dark yes you're dark why are you dark come on now come on into the light Caroline there we go but I had some stretch pants on that was a size 12 and they don't hurt but like as far as jeans and stuff I don't put those on since my surgery because they're not 100% comfortable on my stomach um, my shirts now I can wear a size 18 and shirts which is a medium and women I no longer shop in the plus size section so I can wear a medium shirt if I want it to fit if I want it fitting if I want it to be comfortable I get a large um, so that's good my all of my pajamas are size 18 um in women like i said no plus size um most of well the few pair of pants that i have i do have um a few size 12s but well, like i said the jeans i haven't had them on since my surgery because they hurt my stomach a little bit because my stomach is a little swollen still since surgery um so i'm not trying to cause anything to mess up my surgery because I worked my ass off for it um, and my surgery didn't have anything to do with weight loss my surgery was strictly fertility nothing weight loss um, so yeah let me see if there's anything else I'm forgetting to tell you guys there is some tea and I'm gonna show you guys in my next video that I've been drinking um, and it works a lot but yeah I'm gonna just do it I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stop blabbering I'm gonna do an update video after this one and I'll post it because I'm gonna, today I'm gonna post this video tonight so you'll see this video on November 4th if nothing goes wrong with my um, internet and computer and post and stuff so you'll see this video tonight I'll probably post it around 8 8 30 tonight so you will see this video tonight in my update video hopefully I have that recorded and posted by Sunday so and then I'll just talk to you guys about that. If you have any questions, you can continue to send them to my Instagram inbox, my Facebook inbox, things like that. If you have any questions, and I'll make sure to answer those questions in that. But I'm going to do an update video with everything since I started on July 26th to now. With the weight, you know, the sizes. I mean, just, just everything. Let me go ahead and get this little exercise routine out of the way. And then that's it. And this is my first time really doing any routine since my surgery, guys. Can't even see me good. Jesus be a fence. Let's see. If you can see my head, if my head cut off. Mm. I'm gonna have to go get my other tripod. I see it now. 
But I don't want to go get my other tripod. I want to use this one. That is a I might have to go down this way. I'm gonna go down this way, guys. Let me move it over here. Cause I don't wanna go in the house and get my other tripod and just be doing all that mess. I ain't got time for that day. Is that good? Lord, so my neighbors driving by and they're not playing the best choice of music. Hopefully y'all can't hear that tomfoolery. But you know, when you're outside, what can you do? Gotta deal with it. I like to do exercises here because I have this in a step up and I like to use this for my exercises. But let me go ahead and start off. You can't even see the top of my head, Jesus. Let me see. Boop, boop. You all see me? I'm a hot mess, y'all. I know. It is just going to be what it is now. Oh, look. I hope that's better, but y'all can see. But I'ma just go ahead, I'ma just get a couple of reps in, maybe two or three of each. And then that's gonna be it. Cause like I said, I'm not gonna overdo it. I'm not gonna hurt myself, but let's get started. bothering my stomach a little bit. As long as I don't feel no, like nothing is tearing, we're gonna be fine. Okay. These weights are five pounds each. makes a difference when you step it up guys trust me you feel it I should have put my scarf on this thing on here Guys, work at your own pace. And 
and you know what <sighs> that never hurts when I do that that's my first time since my surgery bending over and doing anything other than walking and when I told my doctor I'm gonna talk to y'all and when I told my doctor the exercises that I was going to do she told me pretty much what to look out for in my midsection while I'm working out and I felt some of that just now so I don't want to go backwards I want to go forward because like I said I worked my ass off to lose weight so I could have the surgery that I had and I'm close to the next process that I need to go through so I don't want to mess anything up so I think that 10.63 mile walk today is going to be pretty much it this afternoon I think I'm going to probably walk another three to four miles but as far as my cool down routine that I usually do I think I'm gonna hold off on that for a little bit um, my doctor told me I need to hold off on it for four to six weeks anyway but she said I could try it but in her professional opinion she told me to hold off on it so I think I'm gonna listen to her and hold off on it because something didn't feel right just now and I'm gonna give her a call tomorrow and let her know Ooh. and I'm probably get fussed out but it'll be okay but um but yeah I'm gonna go do another walk later to this afternoon and I'm gonna get back into my other workout routines later my body can't take them right now and you only get one body I fought for this girl to get as healthy as she is and I want to go fast and move forward and I want everything now 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 but it's a process so I'm gonna take my time I'm not gonna hurt myself and I'm gonna listen to my doctor I'm gonna just keep it with the walks and with everything else I'm gonna just I'm gonna just let my body do what it do because it didn't feel right just now and it didn't feel good so I want to thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share um, I love you guys please stay motivated stay on your journey you know if there are times that you get discouraged and you fall down pick yourself back up honey no one can do this for you but you when you get discouraged remember why you started your journey and allow that to help you continue on your way don't depend on no one else to do it for you you can't and no one can do it for you baby you got to do it yourself so when life happens cry about that shit me i pray so if you are a religious person a religious person excuse me and you pray to god or whatever or whoever your higher being is you pray about those situations and you let it go and you get back on your journey you get one life honey make the best of it make it the best life that you actually can make it be and make it the healthiest life that you can make it be i'll see you guys in my next video until then stay motivated stay safe and stay encouraged my loves love you guys bye bye